We prayed for sight. We prayed for strength. We broke the earth. Our breath soon spent. But on our knees, His spirit came. Our vision sure. His love to reign. No greater cause to hope or know. A place to learn. A place to grow. Hand in hand. Clay, mud, brick. Earth, dig. Tree, sky. Dam, build, quick. Shape, mold, stretch, sew. Push, pull, draw. Run, jump, laugh, play, dream, fly, soar. We now share this history of fertile soil and story. Christ behind, before. Behold his goodness and his glory. I can still remember the basic idea which was to do something that was honouring the Christ and he'd bless and use to bring people to himself. The stained glass windows, I had a bit to do with them through my wife who did the window on this eastern side of the building and she was pregnant with uh, one of unplanned kids, I'm not sure which one it was, but she went into labour but she worked all day setting out the frameworks and doing the, you know, the glass and everything for this particular building. And one of the good things about this school I think is it had a very strong artistic sort of background which came a lot from the influence of people who were tied up with setting it up. If you're taught to learn and, and learn by your mistakes and be adventurous and that's, that's when you learn and that's when you can be creative. And, and the creativity in the children with the, with, the, with the plays and the music and the acting is so important yeah. for, the, for the full development of a human being. It's, yeah. And it's wonderful that it's given pride of place in this school, along with the truth of Jesus Christ as Lord and God being love in everything and God is behind us, in front of us and in us. A lot of what the school is today is because of that early thinking that you did 30 years ago. And it really meant that the school had such a strong foundation and a really strong sense of purpose and vision. And, and I believe that that is why the school is still here today. We uh, built a library out of Mudbricks two years ago. Uh, and the reason we chose Mudbricks at that stage was simply because it was the cheapest building material that was available. And after the building was finished, we were just so pleased with the atmosphere and, uh, and the warmth of the learning environment, uh, we decided that we'd do the same thing for this new building. We're only a young school, been going for about eight years or so, and uh, we're hoping that by building out of mud bricks and, and using the, the, the community labour, we're hoping to keep costs right down to a bare minimum. It's very welcoming and it feels like a, a family sort of feel. The kids all get on really well with the teachers and each other and it's just a really nice place to grow up, I think. I also like the beautiful grounds and the open spaces and just the dedication that the teachers show to the students here. And we've just been really impressed with um, all the activities that sort of bring together all the families and staff. The new cafe that's coming in is another example of, of trying to bring parents and, and staff together, really for the betterment of, of you know, these young people. And we're very happy that our, our kids are involved in you know, that, that type of environment, that sense of community and a community that's growing. Ah, the community factor is all encompassing and very joyous and um, very welcoming. We haven't been here for 10 years and we still want to come and hang out. You know, all sorts of events all year round that are, are able to get people down on the ground and actually mingling with one another and taking pride and celebrating the spirit of St Paul's. St Paul's, you are so blessed. You know how to bring people together. You know how to inspire and generate community. When you're at a St Paul's event, you feel like you're part of something much bigger. The people who bring this school together, they're all very bound together in one purpose. And that one purpose brings hope, faith and courage.